Hi Taurus, welcome to Terribly Accurate. Thanks for showing up to watch this video. This is your love reading for January 18th through um, February 18th. So it'll cover Valentine's Day. And um, this is for anyone who's a Taurus sun, moon, or rising, or maybe you're interested in a Taurus, so you're kind of trying to spy on their love life. That being said, um, the most accurate type of reading you can get is a personal reading, so contact information for those is below if you're interested in that, but otherwise I hope this is helpful for you. So I'm going to start with um, Taurus singles, and then we'll do couples, and for those of you who um, are kind of in between, back and forth, sometimes you're together and then you break up, and then you're back together. Um, you might want to watch both parts, and that's why I'll do yours last, something more specific for on-again, off-again relationships or those who haven't like necessarily declared the relationship either um, as official, things like that. So here we go. Taurus singles. Seven of swords. So um, not an awesome start to the reading. I can't lie to you, though. Um, what would be the point in doing these readings? If I did, now I'm going to pull the next card to see what that says here, and it's the High Priestess. So here's the thing. You could be the person who is deceiving others, or you could be being deceived, but your gut instinct is telling you what is right um, and the accurate information. So this could be lying to yourself um, about a situation, and like instinctively you know that. So like, oh, um, you know, I'm going to give so-and-so another date because why not you know maybe over time I'll grow to like them and but like instinctively you know that you won't it could be like that it could be um, somebody that you're talking to is not telling you the truth maybe they're married um, maybe they're lying about you know something less important but but like your red flags are going off like you know your gut instincts are telling you um, maybe you're lying to somebody else and instinctively you know it's time to come clean. Uh, that's the difficult thing in a general reading is to discern where you'll be at, but those are the different options, the different ways this could play out for you. And whatever one you felt strongest is the one that would resonate for you. So what else for Taurus singles um, between January 18th and February 18th? Now, um, we've got the Seven of Wands in reverse. So it's saying, you know, no matter what, though, when, when you're following your gut instincts, you don't need to defend yourself on, on that, on that decision. Um, it says that your mind is already made up on what needs to be said, what needs to be done about it, because you are so strongly following that gut instinct. But the thing is, is that you haven't carried it out yet. You haven't started the conversation. You haven't brought things to the surface. And the reason being is because you don't want to stir the pot. Um, because you can see that maybe this is one of those times when you just ghost somebody and you don't, you don't tell them anything because why create drama? Now you have the eight of pentacles in reverse with that. And with this one, what it's saying is, um, I've got to think about this for a second. The context, we'll get another card. Okay. So when it comes to communicating things like about your heart, your emotions, your feelings, that um, this month in particular is a good time to just be very expressive, okay? Now what else for Taurus singles? The Knight of Wands. So this is a really good card when it comes to single life because this is fun, adventure, excitement, um, going out, doing things, and you have the Eight of Cups here as well. So, you know, oh, and the Knight of Cups. So what this is basically saying, especially when we're talking about the cards previous, is that if you are to just take some actions to get out there, to meet new people, go on new adventures, try new things, go new places, that love can come for you if you're not still attached to somebody else. Like if you can say, you know what, I really liked this person and this could be an ex or maybe that person in the beginning that maybe you were casually dating or talking to, if you can walk away from that, um, a lot of love can come your way. Somebody might just show up and say, hey, you know what, I've had my eye on you for a long time. I'm glad you're done with this person because I'm interested in taking you out kind of a thing. Um, 
And this would be a very romantic person coming up and a person who's kind of got their stuff together. So it's just going to, you know, that's the thing about free will is that um, you're, you have to co-create your existence, you know, and your circumstances. So, you know, if your gut instinct is telling you like, I'm wasting my time with this guy or with this girl, if you move on from that, like whoever it is that you're talking to, you have your eye on, then somebody new can come in. Um, this one just jumped out. And it's the Four of Pentacles in reverse. And so what it's saying is that, um, you know, don't hold on too tightly to things that don't actually matter to you. Because something that does matter to you could definitely show up January 18th to February 18th. Now, for those of you who are coupled, on the home front, things are pretty stable, secure. You know what to expect. And um, you've also got the High Priestess here. Like, needing to follow your gut instincts on situations, but maybe not wanting to take the steps to communicate with your partner about um, some decisions that you have to make. And the way that this is popping up is it's like definitely a fork in the road kind of a deal. It's not like a decision that you could put off. Like you're at a stagnant place where you have to decide if you're going to go right or left, but maybe you don't want to be the one to bring it up or talk about it. Now, um, you have some good luck here because the time as I'm recording this video is 111. And I've been seeing 11s all week. So this is saying, you know, whatever it is that you've decided that is the way to go, like whatever it is in your mind, which we know you're kind of already there with your gut instincts here. And then um, having the thought, just not having yet executed it or brought it to fruition, communicated about it. Um, and then you've got the Hierophant here saying, and maybe the reason why is because you like tradition, you like stability, you like knowing what to expect on the day to day level but you are going to be stagnant until you make that choice. Now, um, that will resonate differently for everybody, whatever the choice is, whether it's to stay together or to break up, whether it's to buy a new home or not, whether it's to change, it could be anything that affects the relationship. Um, they say that here, it's you have to be very cautious um, when you do come around to talking about whatever this decision is that you have to make as a couple or about the relationship to do it um, in a very loving way um, because you could come off bitchy even if you don't mean to, okay? If you don't want to hurt your partner, it, you could very much hurt them. And I'm getting like a really strong buzz in my right ear. Everybody's gifts are different, but um, like when it's in my right ear, it usually means yes, absolutely, and it's really loud right now. Um, it's saying that maybe not making a decision and staying stagnant is because of the fear of the unknown and how it affects your stability in day-to-day -day life, including your money. And um, it's as though you might feel like you have to take on um, financial burdens by yourself. So if the decision is to leave a relationship or stay in it, that could be a fear. Um, or maybe if it's about one of you taking a different job, it could be um, a like a cut and pay, something like that. But it's a fear of um, of having to bear that weight on your own. But emotionally, this would be a very good decision for you to make um, despite the fear, okay? Emotionally, it's going to bring things more into balance for you. You're really challenged this month between the 18th and the 18th to think about the things that you actually desire in the long term. Like, what are your goals? Make all of your tiny short-term wishes. Write them all down in a journal if you can. And um, make affirmations for those. Like, feel joy as though you already have them. And then they could culminate into something even bigger and brighter and better than you expected. Your outcome could be greater um, and more wonderful than you thought. But it does say, uh, with the Queen of Wands here, that it is time to take some action with that. Especially if it's in regards to career, because I just got a number message of a nine, um, which is kind of coming to end of cycles, but sometimes it has to do with careers as well. Now, for those of you who are stuck somewhere in between, we've got the seven of pentacles here, um, but it, it's something about, um, it's like a hidden factor, okay, because that card flipped out and went and hid in the deck upright. And this card is uh, in this deck called the Lord of Success Unfulfilled. So maybe that's a fear 
that you have, that you won't be successful in whatever it is that you're trying. But the Seven of Pentacles is always a card of waiting, just waiting to see and hoping for the best, even though it's challenging. Now, the King of Pentacles in reverse is saying, you know, like your security is so important to you. And so maybe that's a talk that you have to have. Like, I'm not feeling secure in our relationship. I don't even know that we're in a relationship. Like, how is it that we fix this? Well, you have to, you're just going to have to take that kind of action. So when I was talking about the coupled re, uh, reading and it's like, well, you know, you kind of just have to be brave and confident and go, okay, this is, this is the plan. That's, that's where you're at too, if you're somewhere in between. So it might be about giving somebody an ultimatum. It might be saying, Hey, look, we are in a committed relationship or we're not. Um, because if we are, I expect commitment. If not, like I'm gonna just say sayonara because that's what I'm looking for and I'll find that in somebody else. Um, and this card just really echoes that sentiment here where it's the King of Swords saying, okay, you know what? Like I'm in control and I need to communicate what it is that I need. Um, I'm going to be honest about this, take it or leave it. Is there anything else for those of you who are in between yeah, if your heart's just not in it, like if you're not getting the emotional fulfillment that you need, it is time to just um, kind of give them that choice here. Now, I wanted to pull a card from this deck, from this animal deck. I don't know what it's called, but um, just as a final parting word for all Taurus people, either um, single, coupled, or in between. And what do we get? The spider. And it says, trust the creative spark that you're feeling and express it through writing stories that inspire and enlighten. And I feel like in personal readings for Taurus people, I've had this often where it's about getting your thoughts down. So journaling would be really great for a lot of Taurus people right now, just to kind of think about how you feel. You can better process it that way. But more than that, um, Tauruses have been through a lot of stuff recently, like in the last few months. And maybe the best, um, and I guess what I'm saying here is you can help a lot of people by sharing your insight, your feelings, and your stories, starting a blog, something like that. Um, so if you're looking for a creative outlet, that's that's another way. And then you also have the blue heron. And this one seems more fitting for our love reading, where it says, make a stand for what you believe in and do what feels right in spite of judgment or disapproval from others. And I would say also in spite of your fear, okay? Th this month is all about going with your gut instinct and your inner knowing, like your claircognizance, like what you already know about the situation, whether or not you've talked about it. So best of luck, um, love and light, and see you soon. Bye.